I am who I'm meant to be. I am who I'm meant to be. Over and out. Over and out. Again. My future needed clarity. The PC that you guys see before you right here is actually a good friend of mine's and he's had this for about four years now and we built it primarily for gaming. But unfortunately the pump has died and you can see that it is in a bit of a mess. It's not really well maintained. So we have to replace the pump, take it all apart and get all of this dust out of it and see if we can actually fix that pump. If we cannot fix that pump, then I think we are going to be chucking one of these bad boys in. Now, before we begin, the liquid inside this system is actually meant to be purple, right? You guys may see purple on the camera. However, that is just the dye which has stained the tubes itself and the dye has actually disappeared and the liquid inside is clear. So that gives you guys an indication of how long this PC has been without actual maintenance. Anyway guys, let's pull apart those blocks and we'll see if there is any damage to them, any gunk, and we'll see if they are stained from the dye, which I'm pretty sure they would be. And we'll see if we can get this pump working. Guys, this is probably the worst loop I have ever taken apart. I just pulled this fitting off of the pump. Now, this has so much growth on it. I don't actually know what it is. I'm gonna try and wipe it off. I'm just hoping it is the remnants of the dye and everything like that, but there is quite a buildup on there. And the GPU water block's not looking good. This was off the pump, so I'm going to end up taking the pump apart and we'll actually see what is inside the pump as well. Let's go ahead and we'll actually try and scrape this off because this is absolutely disgusting. So whatever it is, it is coming off. I probably need something a little more um, acidic to try and scrape all that off. I don't think it's corrosion. My thir first thoughts was corrosion, but I don't think this is. Um, this is purple as well. So it's leading me to believe it is a buildup of the dye and something else, but perhaps we need to take a better look at all of the other components to find out exactly what it is. So this is actually how the GPU water block turned out. This is empty, it has no liquid inside, so you can see it is quite stained, quite disgusting. We'll do our best to clean it. All of the slots in there, they're all gunked up. Uh, lots of build up in there, so yeah, we'll take this right apart, try and clean that out as best as we can. Uh, this is one of the tubes, fully empty. As you can see, it has been stained quite a bit. Uh, we do have a silver kill coil right at the end there, but uh, yeah, that's, this is a Mayhem's die and it has certainly stained these tubes quite a bit. Let's go ahead, take the GPU block apart and see what we can do about it.
So we've finished cleaning all the blocks. We're not gonna be able to reuse their reservoir. There's too much staining on it and I cannot remove it. I have tried everything to, tr to get it off, but in the end, I couldn't do it. Uh, the fittings, I'm going to chuck them out because it did turn out to be a buildup of all of the dye and that, but there was also some corrosion and rust happening on those fittings. Uh, so the water blocks themselves, they looked really good. They cleaned up nicely. There is a tiny bit of a stain on the GPU block. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening in the radiator, so I'm going to have to replace that 360 radiator with this radiator here. This is a full copper radiator as well. And because their reservoir and their pump are damaged, uh, the pump's no longer working. The reservoir, obviously it's got all that staining, can't reuse them, so I'm gonna replace it with this and their fittings I have to chuck out as well. So we're going to be replacing the fittings. So that's probably over $500 worth of gear that we are putting in there for him. Uh, it's a lot of money. That's actually our paycheck as well. So uh, yeah, I can't really give him any new fans. These were very dirty. I tried to clean them up as best as I can. There's still a tiny bit of dust on them, but I did my best. Um, so we'll be putting them in the build, back in the build. They are white LED fans and all of this new water cooling gear. And hopefully this time the PC is taken care of and uh, I'm going to let him know that it needs you know, draining and maintaining at least once a year. So yeah, we'll get onto that. We'll put some anti-corrosive uh, liquid and stuff inside, just some clear to make it look uh, nice and yeah. A simple build is all he needs. He's, he's a gamer. So yeah, let's get into it. It's been a roller coaster, but you stayed. And now I'm taking over for the day. Cause I can be what you wanna be. And I can feel, but 
Anyway guys, I hope you all enjoyed that PC build. It has now been taken to its rightful place with my mate. He was happy with the end result. Uh, oh, I'm glad that he was happy. We did change out all of the fittings, the radiator. We didn't want to reuse, so we did put a new radiator inside because we weren't sure if you know any corrosion or anything had happened inside the radiator, so it's better to be safe than sorry. The reservoir pump combo, we put that in there as well. We chucked out his old reservoir. Couldn't clean all of the walls. It had lots of gunk and stuff on there, so... In the end, we got it all sorted. We ended up throwing in uh, two cable mod LED strips as well, 60 centimeter strips. So they're inside of there and the whole PC is complete. We just put some nice clear liquid in there, a nice simple water cooling loop for him. There was no customization really. It was just uh, more swap out the hardware, put some new stuff in, bend some new tubes, and you guys saw the final result. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you like videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. We don't usually do you know, commentary in places here and there. So if you did like things like that, then perhaps we can implement that into other videos as well. And don't forget to like the video and consider subscribing if you do enjoy content such as this build, because we've got plenty of other builds on the channel that you guys can go and watch as well. Lots of custom PCs, reviews, modding tutorials, and much more, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.